Welcome back to JTMJ Crafts, ladies and gentlemen. How's it going today? We're getting into a weapon chat. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, howdy do to you. So, today, we're just going to have a good old-fashioned sit-down, talk, and work on my whip with you guys and show you guys my progress that I've made so far on... Desert Woman, that's what it is. Sorry if my brain is a little bit all over the place. And if I sound tired, it's because I am tired. We will get into it. So how's your guys' day so far? My day is... Has been super busy with work. Like, I got to work this morning and I had 40... Or, 30,000 postcards sitting there waiting for me to jump on them and get them going with addressing them. Sorry, my little table I have here is is not staying put. I don't like that. It's, it's moving too much. Sorry. A little aggressive. So, yeah, so, uh... I got to work this morning and there was 30,000 postcards that uh, I had to mail. So that's what I did today. And uh, let's see. So Friday night, I... This thing is moving too much. Hold on. All right. Let's try that. See how that works. So, anyways, let me go back to what I was talking about. So, Friday night, I ended up and stayed up. Not too terribly late, but I was up until, like, I don't know, like 11, 11.30. It's when I finally was like, alright, Trapper, let's go to bed. I am, I am tired. So, I get up, I head into the kitchen, I... Shut down the craft room, because I've been spending more and more time back here in the craft room. And, uh... So I get the craft room all shut down. I tell Trapper, let's go. He kind of looks at me like, you're going to make me get out of this chair? Surprisingly, he's not in his chair today. He's hunkered down right, behind, right beneath me. I can't even move my chair. He's so close to my chair. But anyway, so I get him out. I get the cat out. Go out to the living room, our kitchen. Uh, feed the fish. Feed Lagatha, the blue, the electric blue crayfish. Sorry. And then uh, put Thor to bed in his, in his blanket. And then gave Mary Jane a treat, and then gave Trapper a treat, and I was off to bed. And I sat in there for a good, I say probably like three hours, but so it had to have been, because it was like 11 it was either 11 or 11.30 when I went to bed. I don't remember exactly. It wasn't very clear. It may have been closer to 11.30. Say 11.30. So, 11.30 to 12.30. 12.30 to 1.30. 1.30 to 2.30. That may be about right. So, I'm guessing I laid there for probably about two, two and a half hours. Tossing and turning. Could not get comfortable. Could not fall asleep. I tried putting on... A fan just to have a little bit of extra white noise going that end up and lasted about 15 minutes because I got chilly so I turned that off and then I turned on my phone to YouTube to just put something on to listen to so I went and found oh I did grab my drink I was like dang it I didn't grab my drink but I did uh, I put an old western on, and I ended up sat there and watched the whole goddamn western, and I was just like, 
I'm not going to fall asleep. I need a drink. Hold on. Tropicana. Apple juice. Drink your apple juice, people. I drink one of these almost every day. This is 32 ounce or buy one of these. This is, I drink literally one every day. I love my apple juice. So, I'm tossing and turning all night. Can't get comfortable, can't sleep. Put the Western on and I'm just like, I'm annoyed. I'm like, I can't fall asleep. My, I'm kind of hurting and that's probably why I can't fall asleep. And I'm like, okay, let's let's try getting up and going and laying down on the couch. So I go lay down on the couch. I'm on the couch for like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours. I don't remember exactly the times. Not falling asleep, tossing and turning all over the place. And I'm just like, I, 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 this is ridiculous. Like, I'm glad I'm not going hunting because I would have been dead to the world. Because my brother had to work, so there was no hunting on Saturday. Uh, but I nipped and detailed my Jeep and did a bunch of other things, so it was it was worth it, worth it. But uh, so yeah, like I could not fall asleep, could not fall asleep. I w it was literally driving me nuts. So I grab my big fluffy blanket, I throw it out on the floor, I lay down on the floor, thinking flat surface. Maybe that's just what I need. I just need a hard, flat surface to lay my back on. And it might make it feel better. And that was probably at like 5.30 in the morning. And I was just like, wow. The hell did the night go? I'm like, shit. Alright, so I put my phone up and I'm laying there. And I'm just like... I'm so tired, I could just fall asleep. Next thing I know, I'm getting a paw in the face. That's how I got the scratch on my nose from Mr. Trapper Do saying, hey, it's time to go outside. So I grab my phone, I look at the time. It's like 7.03 in the freaking morning. I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me, Trapper? Oh my god. So I literally like slept for like I don't even like hour and forty five minutes, maybe two hours. I was just I was dying. And then the bad part was Sunday I ended up and finished cleaning my Jeep, doing a bunch of household chores, cleaning the house, doing dishes, doing the laundry, you know, you know, the whole the whole spew. I save that stuff for the weekends because dur during the week is when I do a live stream on Twitch and I record videos during the week and the weekends is just my time to go hunting or clean my house. It was it was very much necessary cleaning my house. It was like a, almost a month with with uh no cleaning cuz I was gone like literally every Saturday and Sunday, and yeah, my house was was tore up from the floor up. Let's put it that way. Trapper had toys everywhere, stuffing from toys everywhere. I was just like, dog, you're ridiculous. Stuffing from his bed. I'm just like, oh, I'm over it. I'm over it. You need to clean up after yourself. So. And then Sunday gets here, and I did a bunch of stuff around the house again, and start playing my game uh, I've been playing. I start, I played a new game. Oh my god. I fell in love with this game, but it, it really, it's not a long game, so it 
uh, it really, it really left me in an emotional state when I, when I finished the game. I was just like, it's done already? Why? Why do I find a game that's nature, nature filled, like hiking and doing different things, activities and stuff, and it's like a super short game. I like, I sat down on Sunday and it was the first time I had started playing it that way when I do a, a live this Tuesday, which you guys will part already have been passed because when you're watching this, it'll be Wednesday, but this is Monday when I'm recording this. So, yeah. It was an amazing game, but it's not very long, and that's, and then it left me emotional because there was like a love love interest going on in the game. It was it was emotional. It was emotional at all. Uh, if you want, I will do a playthrough of that game with you guys because I do want to do a, a gaming stream on YouTube one of these days. Uh, I've been trying to work that into my schedule, um, like getting a gaming stream in, because I think it would be fun to play a game with you guys. I would love to be able to uh, play like Mario Kart with you guys and see if we can get like a group of people in to play or something. That'd be fun. Or even Palia. But we'll see. We'll do we'll we'll do a, a game night over here on YouTube soon. Uh I, I have two weekends left of deer season and then it is done wraps over. Uh so I have two weekends to fulfill my deer tag. Um and then I have until December, uh, Mary Jane, quit scratching on my damn wall. I'm gonna beat your little ass. Freaking cat, scratching on my goddamn wall. She thinks it's freaking fun and games. I chase her away from it every day, and she just keeps going back to it. So I was like, you want to keep scratching my walls, chica? I got your number. I got your number. Watch this. Watch this. Listen up real well. Spray bottle. Psst, 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 psst. In the face. Oh, you don't like that. Get the hell off my damn walls, cat. She uh <clears throat> does not like me right now cuz I straight up sprayed her with the uh with water. Hey. You didn't pick up my diamond. I straight sprayed her with water. And, uh, she did not like it. But I was like, ah, 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 ah. Now you will listen to your father. And not scratch my damn wall, cat. It's funny because whenever she's doing something, I'll just tell Trapper. Trapper, go get your sister off of that wall. And Trapper will run over and chase her underneath the table. And then he'll get all worked up and start wanting to play. And I'm like, I just asked you to do something for me because she wasn't listening to me. Leave her alone. And then he'll go lay down and do his own thing. It's funny. And then she gives him shit. She tries to smack him with her paws. They're like, they're like... I don't know what the, what they're like. They're they're ornery around each other. They want to pester each other, but they sleep in the same goddamn bed with their father every goddamn night. So why can't they get along during the day or at night? I don't know, but they can get along long enough to sleep side by side. Practically, practically, some nights they touch each other. 
Sometimes which word Trapper lays down at is literally like on top of Mary, and Mary will scooch off to the side, and they'll be practically laying against each other. But no, heaven forbid. Anyways, that's the children. They are... Amusing to me. But how have you guys been? How's your weekend been? How's life been for you guys? Hope all is well. So like I was saying, there's only two weekends left of deer season. So that means we're going to try our best to get back into doing more stuff here on YouTube. Maybe not, like, more videos, but I want to try to do at least a weekly live with you guys, but it's hard trying to work through a schedule with work and do a weekly live because some nights I may not get home until seven, eight o'clock at night and then it's like pointless to do a live. I'm just looking over these and seeing if I don't have any more J's. J's, J's, J's. We don't see no more J's. Next color is Y, because there is a ton of Y's. So, before I get any further, I want to show you guys what I'm working on. If you don't know this painting, because I've had actually a couple of people go, where's that painting from? And I say, Diamond Art Club, Desert Woman by Claudia Tremblay. Absolutely stunning Desert setting scenery with a woman. She's gorgeous. Love her. This is a tribute to my mama. Uh, I'm using my Enablers Outpost pin because I love my brother and my sister and I gotta support, support small business. Um, I'm using an, uh, Muni made tray because they're the original and that's who I like to support. And I'm also using Harbor Freight containers for this because I ran out of baggy, baggy uh, organizers. Um, I have one from a company that I don't like, um, but I like the, the baggy organizer. Uh, I have another one from a company that I like. Um... And I think I have one other one somewhere with a kit that I haven't, that I haven't, uh, that I kitted up and I started it and then I just kind of like put it off to the side. But I'll have to find that one because I could, I could, if I'm not going to do the painting, I'll just put them in, put them in, uh, like a Ziploc baggie so I can have the baggie organizer back. But let's see. Y was my next color. Y, 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 39. 39. So I've been good. Uh, last week I had a little bit of an emotional uh, issue. Um, last Wednesday, I, I like, there was a lot that happened on, on that day, and I just, I left like emotional and like broken. And missing my mom. But. I'm over that. Trying to. Make it to where it's. Looking at it towards the good. Instead of. Dwelling. On her being gone. Because it has been. Uh, October 17th will be 23 years since she's been gone. 
You can probably hear it in my voice. It changes when I talk about her. Trying not to get emotional. But yeah, so this is a tribute to my mama, who I love very, very much and miss a lot. But yeah, so we are working on this painting for DP Pink for BCA. Um, that is uh, an event that I co-host with my sister from another Mista, uh, Angie's Diamond Painting Adventures here on YouTube. Uh, me and her have been co-hosting it for, well, I guess the last two years, um, which I... I've already, like, claimed this spot as mine. Like, you can't can't get rid of me now. Um, I, I look forward to... <laughs> this event every year. And I, I look forward to... I had a brain fart there. I was like, what was I just talking about? But yeah, I look forward to this event every year because I look forward to... Finding a painting that has pink in it that's a tribute to my mom. Uh, last year, I did Magenta Warrior, the horse from Craftably, which is absolutely amazing painting. It's in my kitchen. I absolutely love that painting. Um, this one is going to go in the kitchen dining room area as you where I have the other one at. That's my my wall for my mom. Let go. You don't go there. This diamond don't want to move. So yeah, so... Where was I at? <laughs> Got the wall, getting the wall set up. Um, next year, I think I'm going to find a painting to work on that has something to do with Native or maybe take it to a whole different pr perspective than what I normally do and do something different. I thought about doing, like, pink carnations uh because my mom's favorite flower was pink but then i i think about it i'm like i would have to look at it so i would rather do something in tribute of her that i could i would i would love to look at and cherish having it in my kitchen slash dining room to look at and think of her My wallet is killing my butt cheek. Sorry. Probably a little too much information for you, but oh my god. I don't know how people sit on their wallets all day. That absolutely kills me. Like, when I get in the in any of my vehicles, the wallet comes out and goes in one of two places. If I'm driving... The Honda, it goes in the center console. If I'm driving the Jeep, I'll either put it in the center console or I will put it in the door cup holder. Yeah, my Jeep has a door cup holder. Yeah, I know. It, it's, it's stylish. Uh, my Jeep's been amazing... Throughout this hunting trip, this hunt past few months of hunting has been amazing. Hold on.
cho làm hay hay Are you comfy? I've been talking for 25 minutes already. Wow. That doesn't feel like 25 minutes. That's insane. You tell him hi. Trap do. Trap do, trap do, trap do. You tell him hi. Huh? No? No tell him hi? Okay. Well, you want to come say hi now? That's my apple juice, sir. That's my apple juice, sir. There's the the baby, the 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 baby, oh the the baby, baby, baby. Yes, I'm missing my handsomest baby ever. Did the boop the boop? Did the boop? Yep, right here. Boop it up, up. Bear, bear, put up, bear, 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 I love you. Mwah. My old fat head. Come here. What are you doing? Where are you going? You gonna go get in your chair? Okay. Be a good boy. I don't have I don't have nothing. I have nothing for you. One kiss? Thank you. Good boy. This dog. He's like, he'll look like right at you with his mouth open, like. And I go, what do you want to kiss? And he'll just like. <laughs> take his mouth and like put it like straight over top of my nose and my face and like just like drowns me in kisses. He's a big old goob. Y'all, I can't believe. He'll be eight years old next year. Like, it blows my mind. Like, I... I just... Can't get over how... How fast time has gone. This year alone, it seems like... The time has just... Came and... Was like, peace out, sayonara, I'm out of here. And another thing, it seems like it's, uh, it got, it's, it didn't stay light out as long this year than it has in the past years. I don't know, it was just weird. Anybody else noticing any like anything like that? Like I just noticed that the it just gets dark out earlier. Like we haven't even gone into a time change yet, and it's dark out at like six. Not six. Uh, yeah, six. About six fifty right now. It's dark, which is is just weird. But we got rain in, in this week, which is good. We need some rain again. Maybe it'll help out the last two weekends of hunting season. Oops, sorry. I'm trying to scoop my chair in. I keep hitting you guys. So, are you guys working on the event with us, or are you guys working on a different event? I'm always curious to see what people 
work on for what events and who joins in and on different events. I've I would love to join in on all the events that everybody has going on and, and that they host. I'm not a fast enough diamond painter to to join in to a lot of these events because I literally will start a painting and, and get it like a quarter, maybe a half away done. And then I send it to my sister and be like, here, finish this for me. And send it back to me. And that's that's my, my completed kit. Like, there's a animal... DP along diamond painting animal DP along three. Um, I don't I don't know who exactly hosts it, but I seen it on uh, Instagram the other day. Somebody posted it on there, and I was like, "Huh, I wonder who who hosts it." Um, so I I was looking into that, but you have to complete the painting. So I was like, "Shit, that'll probably." not happen for me, but it also said that it can be a whip, so maybe I can get lucky, and when I'm doing my Native Heritage painting for next month, it has a wolf in it, so that would classify, and I might be able to finish that painting but I don't I don't know exactly depends on when I start working on it and how fast it works up if it's got a lot of color blocking or confetti I I tell you I am not buying anything diamond painting wise that has fucking confetti in it I cannot stand fucking confetti anymore I I'm over it I almost quit diamond painting because of confetti seriously as a serious as a heart attack, I almost quit diamond painting because of confetti. It drives me ever loving mad. Like it just drives me absolutely bonkers. I don't know why. I will get so pissed off at it, and I will just put it up, and I'll send it off, and I'll start something else because I can't. I just can't deal with confetti. It's just not my jive. I like a, a light sprinkling of confetti throughout color blocking. That's that's my jive. I'm over paintings that are ridiculous with confetti just to be fucking ridiculous with confetti. So if you guys are interested, um, I have a Discord, where, Discord, let me, let me describe to you what Discord's like. Discord's basically like Instagram in a way, um, but it has, like, in the Discord, it has a bunch of channels, and in those different channels, you can post different things, different content. Like, for instance, I post in there weekly uh, what my schedule is for YouTube and Twitch and what videos are going to be out for the week. Uh, kind of gives everybody an idea what the week's looking for. Um, because it's personal. It's my Discord. And you guys just join the server. You guys can put up your diamond painting whips, your craft whips, whatever you want, uh, as long as it's not, like, nudity or anything like that, you can post whatever you want in there. We got, actually, hold on, let me grab, alright, so this is Discord, so basically you have, like, a welcome stage, so when you join here, you can, like, wave over here and say, hey, how's it going, and I'll welcome you in, you have a general chit-chat, so you can just 
talk here, post here, whatever you would like to do. We have a weekly YouTube Twitch, Twitch schedule, and that's where my, uh, oh, did I, cha did I change it? Oh, maybe I did change it. Okay. Schedule announcements. No, I'm, I made two of them. What a ding dong. So then we have live. So whenever I go live, I post it in here saying I'm live. And you'll see this pop up. And then we have YouTube videos. We have Palia Gaming Corner. We have drawing and art. We have diamond painting whips. We have crafting, like crochet, wood burning, all that stuff. Your birthday pet share, which... I'm not going to share that. We have the Giddy Up stuff. We have selfies, foods, video clips, pictures share. We also have mod chat. So if I have any issues with anybody, I can just tell my mods. Take care of this. Or if you see this coming through, take care of it for me. Um, so as you see my progress, look at those diamonds. Just Sparkles shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. All right. Anyway. What time are we at? Okay. We're good. We're at 40 minutes. We got another half an hour to talk. No, 20 minutes to talk. Jeez Louise, brain. Okay, so, let me see. We're back at Wise. So, Trap Do is doing fabulous. For Let's, let's go ahead and do an animal update real fast. So, Trapper has been doing good. His ears have been giving him some relief, finally. Uh... A friend of mine recommended this stuff to try out, so I've been trying it on him, and it seems to be working so far. He's only been on it for like a week, and his ears already seem to be way better. It's just called a yeast... Oh, a brain fart. Uh... Dog yeast problems. Uh, it's supposed to help them with their, with their licking and scratching of their feet, their ears getting built up of yeast inside of them. And uh, I tell you that so far, I've I've noted a huge huge difference so far. Like, his ears have been clean for for a few days now. Uh, and for the fi first, we like, uh, maybe like the first week or so that he was on it, his ears put off like this, this, uh, I don't know if it was the medicine working. Or or what it was, but his his ears were draining out, and it was just like this thick nastiness coming out of his ears. And after that, they've been pretty clean, surprisingly, and they haven't been giving him any issues. So hopefully, the stuff that I got is is going to do the trick and get him out of getting out of that. He seems to be way happier. He seems to be like. Back to his normal get up and go self. I've noticed it a, a lot the past couple of days that he's he seems to be back to his normal self. Like when he shakes his ears now, he he doesn't shake them and 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 act like it hurts anymore. So hopefully that's the issue because the vets. Don't really know what the hell's going on. They they keep going, oh, just keep giving him this medicine. 
It'll, it'll cure it. It'll cure it. I've been to three different vets. They keep giving me the same, same crap medicine and it's not doing a thing. So he's doing good. Uh, Henri is ever. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was part of his ears being so bothering him so much where he just basically would just go get in his chair and sleep and be a grouchy butt. But now he's like a bull in a china cabinet. He's just, when he wants to play, he's just. Raw, go play, just like gung ho, just using the couch as like a berm to, to run and jump off of, and I'm just like, like trapper. That's my couch, dude. He took the couch. He hit the couch so hard when he ran and jumped on it, it threw the couch into the wall and hit the wall. And made a big thud. And then he stopped and turned around and looked at it. And then looked at me like, oh shit, I'm in trouble. I'm like, slow down, Bo. And then let's see, Mary Jane. Mary Jane is doing fantastic. She's a little psycho kitty still. Um... She hasn't really done anything to, like, really bug me or mess with me at all lately. She's she's just been super low-key. She actually, the other day when she was sleeping on my blanket on the couch, uh, I walked past her and she did one of these little stretches and then stuck her head up at me and, like, like she wanted, she wanted pets. So I just start scratching her on her ear, by by her head area, and uh, she just sat there and like moved her head to the side, like, oh, that feels good, and then she let me sit there and pet her for, I don't know, like maybe like a minute, and then she was like, eh. That's when the, that's when the problem started. She got a little tissy toot fit. And I was like, yep, that's exactly why I just keep my distance from you, cat. Because I can touch you, and two seconds later, you're in a toot. But that's alright. Loves her. She's just gonna be a rotten, ornery kitty the rest of her life. Uh, let's see. Uh, Thor's doing good. He is, uh, as picky as ever with food, as always. He's, I don't know why, but he's always been super picky when it comes to food. And he is still, to this day, super picky when it comes to his food options. He, he has what he likes, and if you give him something different, he's like, that's, that's not what I like. Give me what I like, or I'm going to stab you. And then he gets his big, big black beard all puffed up, and gets all angry and sits there and stares at you with his big old black beard. But he's doing good. Honor as ever. Nooms is doing good. Uh, she's uh, still, to this day, never lets me touch her. I mean, I could touch her, but, like, I can't hold her. Like, I can touch her, and then she 
she runs. So, there's no, basically nothing there with her. She, she doesn't like any attention. She doesn't want to be held. She doesn't want to be touched. She doesn't want nothing to do with me. She's like, all I want you to do is just feed me. That's all. Just, just give me my food. You okay? You sneezing? She says, just, just give me my food and we'll be happy. Trapper heard the word food and was like, wait, what, what? I already ate, but I'll, I'll take seconds, Dad. I'm, I'm way ahead of you there, son. You're not getting food, boy. Oh, let's see what else is going on with the household. Uh, not much. Everything's been good. Just been hunting a lot, working a lot. Crazy busy life. Trying to Get back into this swing of things here on YouTube. Now that hunting season's almost coming to a close, I gotta start planning um, some more things out a little bit better. Um, I've already started Christmas shopping for a, a, quite a few people. Um, Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Christmas this year is different. Like, I don't know. I have different feelings about this year, but I don't know. It, it could come to the last part of the Christmas and I become the Grinch like every year. Get out of there. Get out of there. Damn it. Diamond was stuck in the corner. It says I'm clinging all for life. You can't get rid of me, boss. No, sir. You can't get rid of me. So, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else? Anything else? What time is it? What time are we at? We're at... 48 minutes. So let's take a second to go over and notify you guys of next month events um, that I am also hosting, co-hosting with my sister from another mister, Angie. Uh, it is a Native Heritage event. A lot of people have asked lately, does it have to be Native American Heritage? No, it does not. Native Heritage, what we meant by Native Heritage is whatever your Native Heritage is. My Native Heritage is Indian. Your native heritage could be German, Scottish, Poland, Polish, uh, German, Greek, French, uh, Australian, New Zealand, like, you could have whatever. And then, what all you have to do is find a painting that has your heritage in it. So, mine is... A Indian woman sitting next to a wolf and that's my that's going to be my uh, my piece that I'm doing so it doesn't have to be a new start it can be a whip um, 
we just ask that you make sure that it isn't like almost complete like you have a good section of it like over half of it to go still Yeah, and that uh, starts November 1st and goes until, uh, I almost said January, jeez Louise, December, or November 31st, sorry. One month. And that's it, I'm done with events for this year. Um, I don't think I plan on doing as much events next year. I just need to kind of stick to doing what I need to do and not do a bunch of events. Um, unless something just like really rings a bell and just like... I'm going to work on that. I mean, I'm going to do that. Then I might, but... For the most part, I'm just going to... Stick to... Doing my own... Choice of paintings. And not have to choose... Something for an event. Although I love doing events, but I just... I get too many events... Wrapped up in... Uh, like a year, and it just it just makes it if it, it makes me feel like I have to do this or I have to do uh I have to work on this painting. I just want to walk over to my closet and be like, "Oh, I like that painting. I'm gonna start that," and not care if I start that or if I start something different. But I'm still going to have my a couple of events that I, I will always have. Which is the DP Pink for BCA and the Native Heritage. Those two events will always happen. Um, it's just... It's hard that they're back-to-back -back with each other. But it's okay because you can take this painting right here. And if you're Native American... This painting would work for the BCA event and the Heritage event for both. So, it, it's it's beneficial. Plus, there's also so many other events that I would like to take place in and work on something. Or at least support the creator that's doing that event. So yeah, that's that's about it. I don't really know anything else to talk about. Um, I'm going to try my best to do a live on Thursday. Get out of there. Get out of there. On Thursday of this... This Thursday... I will uh, make a, I will schedule it, that way it's scheduled, so uh, it'll give out a, a, a double notification, it'll give out one thirty minutes before I go live, that way you guys know, and then it'll give out one when I go live. Um, and we're just gonna diamond paint and chit chat. I don't really know what to talk about as of yet. Probably just going to talk about how everything's going on and how I'm loving this painting and how I wish 
I could just blow through this painting. I, once I get done with this bottom part, and I get to that top section where it's all that color blocking, oh boy, I'm going to be in heaven. So I got a stockpile of of paintings to unbox now. So uh unboxings always will be on Sunday. This past Sunday I didn't do one because I was having issues with my phone. I didn't have memory in my phone. And then I was like, why don't I have memory? Like, this phone's, like, full of memory. Like, what the hell's going on here? So, I start searching and looking it up. Well, I didn't realize when I was deleting old videos. Well, not, not, not. Ugh, not when I'm deleting old videos, but if after I edit a video and I upload it to YouTube and I'll go through it and I'll make sure everything's good on it and it's 100% uploaded to YouTube and it plays and everything's fine, then I'll delete it. And then, But when I, when I delete it, for some reason, the editing app that I keep or that I use... It keeps a version of it in its file. So it stays in my phone regardless if I delete it. So I had to go into my editing app that I have and delete out like a, a hundred old videos that were like, st like stacked in there. I was like, why are all these here? And I'm like, oh shit, these are actually all videos in my memory. I'm like, holy crap. So I deleted all of them. And now I have, like, a buku amount of room, so I'm like, sweet, now I can get some videos recorded, um, which I'm probably going to, if I have time after this, uh, which I should because it's only, get out of there, diamond. It's only, like, uh, seven... 27 30-ish right now, so I should have plenty enough time to record a video for Sunday, but I can also put it up for my lovely Patreons, and if you are looking to join Patreon, there will be links down below for that, um, for you lovely ladies and gents, um, my, my hair itches for some reason. I took a shower earlier and my, like, I don't know. My head itches. It just. I don't know. Maybe it's because my hat's off. Maybe that's why. What are we looking at for time? I can't see the numbers. 58 minutes. We're going to call it there. I'm going to sit here. And try to <clears throat> finish this section tonight after I go record a video because it's still only like 7.30. So I'm, I got plenty enough time to go record another unboxing and get that done for, for my Patreons. And then that'll be ready for Sunday. So when I'm out and about in the woods, I can have it scheduled, uploaded for you guys. So until next time, thank you guys so much for coming back once again. And hanging out with me while I do my whip and chat. And I hope you enjoy. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Remember, Thursday, 7 p.m. Pacific time, I will be live. Come on over, hang out, chit chat with me. And uh, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Have peace, have love, and have respect for all. And I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.